think if I didn't learn anything at all but this one thing is your starting color when you're coloring your backdrop or your background piece or your cutout or whatever it is you're starting with so if you're starting with a black chalkboard or a white chalkboard or a cutout whatever the case may be you really need to think about what your background piece is going to be what color so last night we did the two watering cans. One can was colored with disco and one was colored with grayish, which is back, you guys. If you guys are liking um, a nice light neutral gray, grayish is in the house. Um, so we're gonna, we used these two last night. And when we painted it, the disco and then did the grayish on top, the grayish really popped. When we did the grayish and did the disco on top, you could see it. And I'm, you know, it probably depends on the pattern you're using or what you're doing. But I think I really liked it when it was dark. So I liked it when the disco was on first. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's think about this. If we paint this all grayish, we're going to have our colored flowers. We're going to have a little flower basket. If I were to do, we can do um, like the little metal part to the bikes. If we did that in the grayish, that'll really pop. But then we need something for like the spokes. And we could do it all in one color. I just kind of wanted to differentiate between the two. We could bring in white. So it'd be those three colors we could do. I guess there's like white tires, right? Some bikes have white tires, so I guess that should work. And then anything metal we'll do in the um, grayish, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. So. We're just going to hop right in and start. This is the flower market transfer. It's um, a C size transfer, so it's 12 by 18. Hold it there so you guys don't see the glare. 
It's really cute. I just like that. I like the bike, and I think the whole bike in the basket kind of goes with our watering cans. So we're going to kind of keep the theme going. So comment. And let's get that added here. Comment. Bike. If you'd like to get the um, cutouts that we're using tonight. So comment bike if you'd like the come uh, the the cutouts. And then um, what I did here was you can see, okay, it's wobble, 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 but it does sturdy itself and it will stand upright. There are four cutouts that I've glued together with just wood glue. Um, it's been stuck like this for a good time. And I wasn't thinking like, so the back sheet will be a full, no detail type um, cutout where there's no cutout, nothing, no details cut out, right? So it's a nice flat, full image. Whereas the next three layers will have like this little section cut out and some of the flowers are kind of cut out. However, when I was taking pictures and all that, I glued it all together and I did not paint my back layer. So if you want your back layer painted, make sure you do that before you glue everything together. So can't go backwards now. So we're just gonna start from here and we're just gonna go right in and start painting our cutout. So this is the disco. This was one of our colors of the month. Um, if you did not get this color, I believe I might have a couple extra that I might be willing to part with. So if you really, really want it, let me know. And we'll get that arranged for you as well. Nice, generous coat on here. There's the flowers. So I just kind of put the paste on first and then kind of smooth that out. And then we'll get it dried up and then we'll get a nice layer of wax on here. Okay. Look how it changes. It changes, you guys, when you do your brush strokes in a certain direction. So that's why I'm trying to get them all to go in the same direction here. This disco is Pretty cool color, I have to say. All right. Let's just get that blended in. Get this edge. Um, all right, I think that's pretty good. Put that aside. Close this guy up and let's get it dry. Now it is a metallic, so it does take just a little bit longer to dry than our normal paste. And we're going to come in with some wax. surface wax now there is a link to the transfer some of my favorite tools um, there is a link to the Etsy shop decor cutouts I believe this is not listed just yet so that's why you need to comment bike if you would like to get these cutouts
Again, it comes with four different layers to make it a half inch wide once it's all glued together. And then it will stand up on its own. Make sure it's nice and dry. Especially the edges, like I'm not the neatest painter, so I do sometimes get it on the edges. See, it's getting all over me. Okay. Oh, I got an itchy nose today. I feel like I have like reactions to certain things I might eat. So all of a sudden it just starts itching. All right, we're just gonna get this awesome little dauber that I found. And we're gonna apply a nice little layer of wax. me for itching my nose. What's the old wives tale? You're gonna kiss a fool, is that it? Itchy palm is you're gonna come into money. I think it's, I'm gonna kiss a fool. Ugh. I don't need to be kissing no fool. No, no. Okay, let's uh, buff this. Never tell. I'm just going to lightly buff it. Okay, this helps with our transfer. Um, it gives it a nice release. And it also makes sure that it does not um, stick to it. So you don't have to fudge your transfer. It'll lay on there nice. Okay. And then it will come off really nice. Let's get our transfer. So again, we're going to use the same colors we used yesterday which were Pesto, Pucker, Fresh, um, the Shimmer Flamingo, that is, I believe, retired, and Shimmer Orchid. Very pretty, springy colors. I posted a picture of our watering cans earlier, so hopefully you guys saw that because they really turned out really nice. Okay. I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna have bike because I think over the years they keep coming out with, excuse me, transfers that have the same saying, but they call it something different. Excuse me, I got the hiccups now. All right, let's get this off. Oh, excuse me. Out of the blue, I just start hiccuping. Okay, take it off your back sheet. You want to save that back sheet. That is home base for your transfer. And because it is nice and translucent, we can get really good placement. I think that's good. That's really good right there. Okay. All right, and then you wanna make sure you flatten that down, okay? You want that to have a nice connection with your cutout. All right, we're gonna leave the flowers till last because those are gonna be a hot mess. Literally, we're gonna do that hot mess, okay. So like I said, the little bike rims, I think. So let's do the tires and the spokes in white. Then we're gonna do all the metal pieces, parts in uh, the grayish. Then we'll do our little seat in white. And then we'll do our basket. What color do we wanna do our basket? 
Maybe we do that in green. And then we'll just do all the, the flowers and colors. I'm not gonna worry about the stems being green and all that stuff. That'll be way too much detail. Okay, so let's get that open. So our detail will be in the metal and all that. All right, so glasses on. Well, hello, Miss McKenzie and Mom. MCM Care. How's everybody doing? Okay, so we're going to try to avoid wherever I feel like it should be. Metal, because that's going to be the grayish. and kind of just spreading it like peanut butter. Okay, get that excess off too. All right, we're gonna do this in shifts. So let's focus on this side. Let's get our grayish. Now the grayish is it's a light color, so it is going to be very close to the white. So we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. So we're going to come in here. A little bit of blending going on there. There's a little bit up here too. All right, now we're just gonna kind of continue over here. Kind of trying to scrape the excess as I go butt it up right next to that tire. Make sure everything's covered, get off that excess. Let's do the bike seat and then we're gonna kind of pull, um, pull that off. I wanted to do the bike seat white. I don't want this to sit on here too long. So that's why we're gonna do the paste and pull. And then we'll work on that back tire. So let's pull it. So cute. Up to that point probably can't see it because of the shine. It's crazy. These colors kind of change with the tilt. So let's just make sure we get this nice and dry. And we'll put it back down. Right? And we're not going to press it down. We're just going to let it kind of fall where it was because we've done that already, okay? But you do want to re rub down wherever we haven't chalked yet, okay? So that we want to make sure is down and all inside that tire. We want to make sure that's down. Okay, now we can continue on this part. This is gonna be a little tricky because 
got a lot going on back here. Lots going on on this back end. Just kind of trying to pay attention to where I am here. All right, get that excess off. So the gears are back here, right? So we're gonna have to avoid that a little bit here. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be close, close enough. We have the tire, although I feel like it should be in front of the tire. So we may go over that again with the gray or with the grage. Okay, let's bring in the grage now. We gotta do the rim here. And then the inside. Pick up some more. Okay, and then like I said, I feel like this should have been that color. So let's go over that, see what happens. It'll be a little lighter, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, excess off. All right, I think we got it. Let's just lift, get that off. It's kind of lifting the paint a little bit tonight. I'm not quite sure why. This fine little detail, if you don't press hard enough, It just not, will not lay down. So we may go back over it a second time, and I'll show you how to fix things up. And I may just go over it in white or in gray, probably in white so it sticks out more. Okay. So we're just going to lay that back down. You don't want to take it completely off because we still need to work on the flowers up here. All right, so we said the can or the um, little flower pot we're gonna do in the pesto. So let's get pesto. Like I said, I am not going to be very particular about all the greenery. Um, because yeah, there's a lot going on there. So we're just gonna do the flower pot. I could kind of dot it around, but I don't think we need to do that. We do not need to do that. So let's close that up. We're all good with that. Get that excess off. Okay. I mean, maybe I'll put a little bit in there. Just take whatever's off of this. There's not much left, okay? Now we're gonna get dirty. So let's open these colors. So we have our flamingo. And I am just dotting it. We use very little. Let's get, let's get our, and I'm going to use a different finger. I was going to use the same one, but I really shouldn't do that. This is the orchid. 
I'm gonna be running out of fingers here, guys. Let's get our pucker. This is our color of the month, by the way. Um, when you spend $75 in US or Canadian, you can get up to three jars, actually. You can throw in three jars of this in your cart and buy them. And then once supplies are gone, they're gone. Last finger here. And I'm gonna get a ton of that. It's such a pretty color. It's called a Fresh. It's just such a pretty baby blue color. Okay. All right, so those are our colors all dotted. I'm just gonna kind of take a finger and we're just gonna kind of wiggle. Not trying to mix. I don't wanna make new colors. I'm just kind of trying to push it through that mesh. Okay, so we're just kind of wiggling, kind of pushing it through. Okay. You could do all kinds of swirling, but there's so many ways you could do this. Okay, I'm gonna clean myself up before we continue here. Somewhat clean myself up. Then we're just gonna take a, a Squeegee, couldn't think. Get that excess off. So I'm just gonna use the one that we used for the green. We're gonna just kind of scrape it. Put it in our wipe because you can't put that back. There's not one jar that you could put it back and mix it in. That would not be good. Okay, just keep taking that off. you get all of those flowers covered you know if there's a section you don't really care for because you can pretty much see you can kind of keep putting color over it but I think this is gonna be gorgeous okay this is garbage now we can take it off Oh, so pretty. Now we're gonna wash that transfer because I am gonna redo, how pretty is that? Look at that, is that not gorgeous? So I guess the bike doesn't look horrible. How fun, it kind of looks very um, rustic. How cute is that? All right, let's get dry. And then that's it, you guys. Then we're done. But I think I do want to go over it. I think I'm going to wash the transfer real quick and then we'll go over it. I think I like the white. It really stands out. Wait. I really like that. Okay. Let's step let's put this aside. Bring our transfer up here. And I am going to get um I got more erasers. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open this and we're going to um, I'm going to take one to the sink. We're going to get it wet. 
these scissors, not your teeth. And then I'll show you how I clean them. Give me a hot minute here. Okay, so when we use our paste, they dry hard. So what you wanna do is you kinda of wanna wake that back up, right? And we apply water because they are water-based. Right, you don't need anything else other than water to wash these off, okay? We'll let that sit for a second. I usually take a wipe. These are antibacterial wipes. I've been using antibacterial wipes since I started with the company in 2017. That's what we were told to do. Not necessarily told to do, but they said, this helps great, and it really does. So we're gonna just take off that top layer that is left behind from when we're taking all of our excess off. Okay. And you can see it's still kind of stuck in that mesh, so we'll get to that part. Okay. Lift. This is our work mat. Our transfers do not stick to it, which is a beautiful thing. So I do like washing my transfers on here. And then we're gonna wet this side. And you can tell, like I said, there is still some stuff left in the mat mesh. And there's some staining, right? You can still see the colored paste. So now I'm just gonna take this side, I'm gonna rub it a little bit. The flowers are coming clean. Bike tires are sorta of coming clean. I think it's the paste. They probably it probably just dried on me a little quicker than I wanted it to. Okay. So we're just kind of moving that around. Then I'm going to take my board eraser. And that really finishes the job. Transfers with a lot of little tiny details. Um, you'll see that the paste may stick to the edges a little more. And that's okay. You just gotta work it a little bit. Go over these spokes a little bit more here go in all kinds of directions and that helps. Grab another wipe. Okay. All right. And then you can still see it a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and then I really scrub it and then it comes out. You're not gonna ruin your transfers. So if it needs a little elbow grease, go ahead and use it. There we go. We are nice and clear now. Put that there. Let's wipe it down. Anything you may see actually is probably just whatever's left on my mat. I have to like, power wash this bad boy, I think. All right, let's get a paper towel. Now, so because our transfer is damp, we wanna make sure we get that off. So I'm gonna just, this is the sticky side. So I'm just kind of gliding the paper towel and getting all that moisture off, or at least a good portion of it. All right, and we're gonna flip it. What side am I on? There we go. Okay, then we're gonna get it off the top of the transfer. Okay. 
okay? You're getting most of it off, not all of it. So we're gonna have to make sure this is nice and dry. When you put a wet transfer onto a project that you're layering or trying to fix, it will pull it up slightly. So we don't want that to happen. So I just kind of hold on to the top corners, hold on to one, and I kind of wave the other one. And just the air passing over it will give it, get it nice and dry, okay? And I'm also going to get a fuzzing cloth and fuzz it because I find that a lot of my transfers will get even stickier than they first were when you wash them. So I kind of just lay that down and fuzz it, and that kind of just takes a little bit of that really hard tackiness away. Okay, let's bring this guy over. Make sure it's not wet. And we're gonna line this up the best we can here. Okay, I think that's... Just about right on, oop, oop. Okay, right there's lined up on this side. And right on this side. So I'm just gonna kind of tap that down. And we're gonna do this in white and we're gonna do it a little quicker than I did before. And we're gonna do everything. We're not going to be particular with the rims and all that stuff. Let's see it again. Now, of course, you can take this to your sink um, if you'd rather wash it in your sink under a nice tepid water. Seems to work best. Okay, get under the basket. Get close to the basket. Get that excess off. I can tell my white is a little thick, a little drier than normal. So hopefully we're just gonna peel this nice and slow. Look at that. Oh yeah. Much, much better. There we go. So much better. Look at that. How fun is that? Love it. All right, let's just get it dry and we're done, you guys. I'll take pictures and get that posted. Probably tomorrow. I'll put it next to our watering can. And it's a cute little trio. You can put on a little tear tray or just in a little corner somewhere. Actually, next to some flowers, if we have some flowers. All right. Let's tilt that. It's just because of the lighting. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? That's our little flower market bike. I hope you guys got some good inspiration tonight and um, looking forward to see you guys again. I hope so. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.